What's up? What's up? What's up? This your boy Zeke Dog. And I'm back with another video. In fact, let me just take all that off. I just walked over to my hotel for tonight. Uh, so much stuff on my mind. Broke down. <laughs> and and my big question in my head is what's wrong with it? And, and how much it's going to cost me? It's trucking, man. This this real trucking right here. This real deal. What happened when you out here trucking? Sometimes you up, and in a second you can be down. Right now, I think we down. Hey, if you need a truck. Give Lone Man a call, man. Check out their inventory. See what trucks they have so you can find your next truck. Alright dog team man, I'm over here at the Enterprise run a car man. About to pick up a a vehicle. Hold up, man, my mom calling. Let me hit y'all right back. Hey, excuse me. Is it okay if I get some stuff out of my truck? Yeah, if you need to that door should be unlocked. Okay. Uh, just watch. Don't step on your keys, they're laying on the floorboard, right? Okay, there. I can go from the other side. No, you're good. There's nothing taken apart in there. If you okay. want to crawl in here or over there, all right. Your okay. All right, got all my bags that I need, that I believe I need out of there. Yeah, I think I got everything. Uh, do you know, like, times, yeah, you no know, point. week and a half or so? Uh, or? I'm going to tell you, once I get the parts, yeah. it'll take about a week to do it. Uh, getting the parts is the part that kind of sucks because I feel them. Yeah. Um, I, I would air for two weeks just to, like, air for two weeks just to be safe. Yeah. But uh, it's not true. We can have Okay. All right. And uh, the email said it was a cam shell. Mm -hmm. So here, I got, I got some pictures of it. Oh, yeah. I already did the whole inspection on it. And I sent it off to the uh, so was TCS that, was that like a, a uh, no, kind of like a known issue with all Yeah, it's something we've been having going on. We'll see how that's going to all beat up right there. Uh -huh. And that one's got chops on it. And that one's got a little beat up too. Yeah. That's cylinder five. That was the thumping. So what it was doing is it wasn't opening the exhaust valves, so it was pushing it back to the intake. I've seen some on YouTube where they had the cam shaft out and they could spit the whole... Uh, yep. That's the, well, it, um, that's the same problem, right, but yeah. yours isn't. Yours, from what I could see and feel, it wasn't doing it. It yeah. might be. It might just have pressure on it right now. So yeah. once I get it all the way apart, it might be that way. Okay. So in order to get that apart, you've got to take like the whole... It just got to come out. Yep. The whole mold? Yep. Wow. Because the only way you can get the camshaft out of it is from the back. I was watching. Yeah, and I was <laughs> like, maybe YouTube ain't right. I'm like, I don't think they got to pull the whole motor out. But. Yeah, it's because these, uh, these backer engines are designed for cab odors. For like your, because they're designed in Europe. They're yeah. European engines, so they're meant for cab odors. And, and on cab odors, you can get everything out the back of right. them without, yeah, because the cab leans forward. Yeah. But on uh, American trucks, not so much. Okay. Um. So like the up the parts that 
touch and work with the cam shell? Mm -hmm. Are they do they have to get replaced as well, like the push rods? Um, depending on damage, I'll have to inspect them when I take it all apart, yeah. which I'll do when it's out. Okay. So, just depends on what we find. All right. Uh, that should be good for another 500,000 miles. Yeah, I was going to say, after that, <laughs> well, the new camshafts they're putting in them. It, yeah. So what it is is the, the batch of camshafts they made. Uh, I don't know if your truck falls under that vent or anything, but there was a campaign that went on for a while because so many camshafts they made, they're bad. They don't work right. They're too soft and metal. And this was happening. So okay. the new camshaft will be the better one. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's cover the oil tank. Yeah, it's going to get all the oil and everything because they have metal in it and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. More than likely, all the lower end bearings there will get changed too because they had some, if you see that right there, how that's kind of shiny in the middle? Yeah. That's from the yeah. metal, that's from the metal yeah. in the camshaft coming through. That's wild. Yep. Well, you know, I think we're going to work today. If I was paying out of pocket, what would I be looking for? Oh, 40. 40,000? Yeah, according to my side, probably like, probably like in, in the 30s, I'm sure. 32, 33. Yeah. That's, that's a blessing right there. Yeah. There you go. All right, well, uh, I guess you all emailed me whenever. Uh, yeah, you can get a hold of you and let you know what's going on. Okay, man. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. I don't know if y'all heard all that, but uh, they got to pull the whole motor out. And uh, you're looking at a $40,000 breakdown. But I'm so fortunate that extended warranty covered the major component. That could have been the end of Zeke Dog trucking right there. The only thing I can say is, 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 is thank you, Lord. And, uh, man, let's get home, man. Let's get home. Ooh. I'd have made it back to Memphis, man. I'm about to return this, uh, return this rental car. Y'all can see I had this little Toyota, man. I think I got everything. I don't think I had nothing in the back seat. So, Mrs. Zeke Dog was about to pick me up and uh, gonna, gonna drop this off and roll out. All right, let's see if I can go find Mrs. Zeke Dog. Like I'm about to jump on a flight, but I'm not. Oh, I think I see the missus uh, coming for me. As soon as these cars here get out the way. Every time I come to the airport, I be wanting to get on the plane. But uh, no the plane for me. I thought that was a wife. Yeah, that's her. What up, dog team, man? So, let me show you what's going on today, man. It is approximately two weeks from the time, from the day 
that I took my vehicle into the shop exactly two weeks today. And uh, this is the rental car I'm in right now, man. So <laughs> don't be looking at me like, Zeke, what you driving, a Hyundai? Man. Yeah, it's a brand new one too. It ain't that bad, don't get me wrong. I, I wouldn't buy one of these things. I wouldn't buy it, cause that ain't Zeke Dog style. You know, I ain't saying I'm all flashy, but it ain't my swagger. I do things the Zeke Dog way. Sometimes the Zeke Dog way ain't ain't somebody else's way. Oh man. So. Time for an update, man. Well, <laughs> it's the same video, but uh, I think I last left off. I was in a rental car heading home. Uh, so, let me see if I can put this camera up here and do some, do some talking while I'm driving. Man, you know what? They dash just is not like they dash. Trying to see where I want to put my camera at to where it's in a good spot. It ain't going nowhere. And it's able to, to get the my volume of me of me talking. Talk I do that. Alright, man. You know, hopefully that's a decent angle for y'all. If not, you know. Well, you still gonna have to make it do what it do. So let me see. Drive is this thing in drive? Yeah. All right, man. I'm on the way back to St. Louis in in the rental car. And uh, after I dropped my truck off at the shop, <sighs> Red Bull. It gives you wings. And if you want to give me a call, Red Bull, for a sponsorship, I would gladly sponsor Red Bull. So if any of my dog team, let me say this. If any of my dog team work for Red Bull or, or got, or got a, a cousin or uncle or friend that work for Red Bull, and be like, man, I know this, this uh, uh, YouTuber, this influencer, that is looking for a, a partnership or sponsorship, bruh, I will put a Red Bull on the side of my truck. <laughs> Think it's a game. Think it's a game, bruh. I will I will have wings on the side of my truck. Y'all be like, see, dog, what you doing? Man, I'm getting the wings, man. I drink Red Bulls on average every day to every other day just depending on uh what's going on I'm trying to get my air up I don't want it blowing too so hard okay I would hit the wrong button I know y'all probably hearing this air wondering what the heck is going on there we go I feel it now jeez it got too warm and I hit I think I hit the like the uh, defrost buttons. That, I wasn't feeling no air. I need to feel the air. Alright, so uh, set my cruise control back. Get in left lane cruising. told me it was going to be about thirty dollars to $40,000 initially to fix the, the, the cam. Change out the cam and, and go from there. But what had happened was I gave them a call 
a week later, it was actually uh, dropped it off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It was like 10 days later, 10, 11 days later. Because I called them this past Monday. Today's Thursday. I'm like, man, just checking up on my truck, trying to see how things going. It was like, oh, man, we'll have you ready by by Wednesday or Thursday. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. I'm like, uh, all the parts came in. He was like, well, I said, uh-oh. Well don't always sound good. He was like, uh, when we broke the motor down to see what additional damage was in there, it was bad. What, what you telling me, man? Just just say what you're trying to say because I ain't understanding you saying it's bad. You give me specifics. He says, Z Dog, we had to put a whole new block in there. Uh, come again and say what? Yeah. You got a brand new motor. What? What? I got a brand new motor? What? Man, that's insane. I said, you telling me I got a brand new motor. He said, for the most part, yes. The block is brand new. Everything that you bolt on it, like the alternator, the starter, probably the water pump, uh, things like that, you gotta, they took it off the old motor and they just bolted it on there because it's none of the internal parts of the block. He said, stuff was so messed up to where we had just gone and replaced the whole block. It was going to be cheaper. He said, now, Zeke Dog, I said, uh, Roo, Roo, Roo. He said, Zeke Dog, you got a $50,000 motor. Lord, tits. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. He said, man, you got a brand new $50,000 motor. Ain't God good. Ain't God good. You know, I've been out for these two weeks. And people been asking me, Z Dog, man, you, you ain't working, you ain't trucking. I'm like, yeah, you know, trucking the shop, yeah, getting a little maintenance done to it. It's like, oh, okay, okay. Now, in perspective, yes, I, I did lose money not working. But, but but in the bigger, broader picture, I just gained so much. And, and let me tell you this too. The transmission. They let me know, listen, uh, your clutch starting to look bad. We recommend you go ahead and replace the clutch. And because we already had to take the clutch out as part of putting the motor in, we're just gonna charge you for the part. And with taxes, the clutch was $2,000. I said, approve, drop it in there. Your clutch is pretty much your transmission. I just got a new motor and a new transmission for my truck. I'm 20,000 miles shy of 500,000 miles. Five year truck. Truck is five years old. I'm good for at least the next five years on, on the motor and the transmission. At least I'm good till I hit a million miles now. I got 480,000 miles on my truck. I'm good. Listen to me, y'all. The White Walker just broke through the ice. The, the White Walker is on the march. I'm on the way to King's Landing. The White Walker is good at least until 100,000 miles. Y'all ain't hear me. See, at 100,000 miles, I may I may keep her as a local truck dealer. 
you know, some stuff break down here and there and, and, and run it that way. But all my, any thoughts I had of getting rid of this truck is gone. <laughs> Say that again. Any thoughts I had of getting rid of that truck, Bro, why would I get a truck, get rid of a, 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 a truck that I'm going to have paid off for probably within the next two years and for something that, that costs more, probably don't have the warranty this one got and don't look as good as my truck look because to me, that baby looking good. It's good. What they say is, 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 is good. It's running over. <laughs> Man. Hey. I couldn't have made this story up if, if I tried to. If, if I was to sit back and say, Man, let me tell the story of Zeke Dog. First year in trucking. Nowhere in that story would I tell y'all I'll be down for two weeks because of a trailer problem with Landstar. Or I'll be down for two weeks because I got hit and it's in the body shop getting fixed. Or I'll be down for two weeks because the motor blew up. Nowhere would that have been in my imagination if I could have, if you had asked me a year ago, Zeke Dog, map out your one year plan with Landstar, everything, including your breakdowns, including any kind of problems that you was going to have. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have been in the plans. It would not have been in the plans. Man, you know. I can definitely contest and, and validate the importance of getting a vehicle with a warranty. I'm so glad I got my truck from Lone Mountain. For any naysayers, man, I don't care what y'all say. I really don't. If, if, if you got your own personal feelings that's negative, please keep them out of my comment because I really don't care to read that. But what I'm telling you is, let, let me bag this up and let me say this. Lone Mountain does not build or make or produce any vehicles. They buy vehicles in large quantities and they resell them to the public. They look at them, they inspect them, but you can't find any and everything. So they make sure you got a warranty with it to C-Y-A. If you're military, you know what that means. I could have bought my truck from anywhere. I could have bought it from an auction. But if I didn't get it and have a warranty with it, or spend the extra money to get an additional warranty, I would have been S-O-L. It's a lot of acronyms going on here today. I would have been solved. <laughs> I would have solved myself. Yeah, so big shouts out to Long Mountain. I gave them a call and uh, I talked to one of my favorite representatives there and the phone ring, phone ring, she said, is this Zeke Dog? I said, uh, Roo, 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 she said, what's going on with your Zeke Dog? I'm like, oh, let's just call to give you an update on what was going on with me told her what happened with the truck she said oh you got a warranty for that <laughs> I said thank you for letting me know I just found out <laughs> cause I knew I had one I just didn't remember the specifics of it but with that being said 
She says, E-Dog, is there anything we can do for you to help you out? I said, no. I just wanted to let you know what was going on with me. I'm okay. My payment will be in on time. And uh, I don't foresee this being an issue that will, will create a problem for me missing any payments. But I just want to let you know what was going on with the truck that I'm, I've got from you all. Thank you for the, for that extended warranty. I, I needed it. I appreciate it. Man, fellas, dog team, ladies, having a warranty for your vehicle will make or break you as an owner operator it will begin or end what you got going on now if you feel so strongly enough to where I just pay for everything out of pocket you know what don't get no warranty in. don't get no warranty uh -uh. you you big you bad don't get no warrants. Just continue doing what you do. It works for you. And uh, you're going to be good. Nothing's ever going to happen to you. But for the people that live in, in, a, in the reality, not in an alternate reality, stuff happens. And when I mean stuff I mean the big pile of brown steamy stuff. Stuff happens. And if you ain't prepared for when the stuff happens, you're going to be covered in stuff. You better get some baby wipes. <laughs> Boy, you better get some baby wipes because this trucking industry will stuff all over you. <laughs> It will stuff all over you until you reek of it. I'm trying to told you something. <laughs> That's what the old folks said. I'm trying to told you something. You mean you trying to tell me something, Grandpa? No, I'm trying to told you something. Listen here, old knuckle headed boy. Uh, boy, hey, hold up. I went a little too far with that one. But <laughs> hey, I was having a flashback. <laughs> And hey, when it's real, you can't you can't help but to spit it out when it's real. Uh, but yeah, man, have a warranty on y'all stuff, man. It uh, had I not had no warranty, man, I, I'm gonna keep saying this. I would have been, I would have been over here with uh with 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 trucking for Tay driving for. I would have been been uh been trying to get him. To let me know what company he driving for and and how much they gonna pay me, cause he had a, he, he both of his trucks down, and he trying to get them back right. I'm not saying Trey did or did not have a warranty with him. I don't, I don't I really. You know what? I need to holler at Tay. So check this out. My subscribers, my dog team. This, this what I need y'all to do, because. Man, I love y'all. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all this. When I asked y'all about a month ago to go to old boy uh, page and drop the comments, I'm gonna see if I can put this up here for everybody that's a, that, that's part of the doll team that went up there and dropped the comments. I'm gonna throw it on the screen now, and I want to say thank you, 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 thank you. I appreciate that, man. Y'all, y'all did that, and it was a small request. And I appreciate the dog team members that got out there and did that. I was his number four, his fourth reviewer. He only had three reviews at the time. I was number four, so every reviewer after that, I think, is part of the dog team. But thank you, I appreciate it, cause like I said, he he took care of Z dog. So that's that's what I need y'all to do, man. Talking with Tay live in my area, man. I, he, he, he in the Memphis area. He from the Memphis, man. He, he's in the Memphis area. And I ain't never, I ain't never linked up with him. 
I ain't never saw him in passing. And I'm like, man, we both from the flatbed world. He still flatbed, but we both from the flatbed world, but I ain't been able to get in contact with him. So if y'all can click on his channel, Trucking with Tay, go to one of his current videos and be like, hey, Zeke Dog been trying to reach out to you, man. Uh, shoot him an email. Zeke Dog Trucking at gmail.com. Ask him to shoot me an email so I can get in contact with Trucking with Tay. I'm, I'm curious of what, you know, that company side doing. I watched one of his videos. He see like it, it, the, it branded up pretty good. You know, I may need to uh, see about leasing on with the people he on with driving for because maybe they got some better freight that's going to pay me better. I don't know yet. But with that being said, man, can y'all go to his, his channel and, and be like, hey, man, Zeke Dog sent me over here. Zeke Dog sent me over here. He said, can you reach out to him? Let me get about about 10 subscribers to go over there and drop it in the comments. Hey, man, Zeke Dog sent me over here, and he want to know if you'll reach out to him. I, I want to holler at Truck with Tay. I, we, we, we may get some big conversation going on about, about the company he working for now because, you know, I still got my flatbed stuff, man. My flatbed stuff still ready to go. And uh, he showed a check. And that check was papered up for working for a week as a company guy. I'm like, man, that ain't bad at all. Maybe they just got the freight that I've been looking for. And uh, cause Landstar really don't have a flatbed freight, man. And and I wanna, and I still wanna keep my options open for other people that uh. Other, other other companies that I can lease on to and potentially make more bread. I mean, because if I can get on over there, I don't know, maybe I can make about five grand a week. I don't know yet. But I'm, a, I'm hopefully he hit me up and, and we can see what kind, if they let people lease on and what kind of numbers he think I can make over there. So we going to see, man. So thank y'all for, for, for if, 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 if y'all the uh, I already went over there and, and, and hit up trucking with Tate. Appreciate y'all doing that, man. You know us YouTubers, man. We we network together, man. So uh, help me get that networking in. Maybe we can do a collab for a video. Uh, on, on anything, it don't it ain't even gotta be trucking. Because let me tell y'all what I did while I was home for the last two weeks. I went out on my patio. Y'all seen the patio. I done lit up me a cigar. And I've had me a drink. Every night I've been home. Every night. Every night. Every night. Every night I'd have been home. Man, I've been so relaxed. I'd have turned my alarm clock off. No more alarm clock. I'm just going to sleep. That's what I've been doing. That is what I've been doing. I've been chilling. I have been stress free. Now, when you when you save your money up and stuff like this happens, you ain't as stressed. Now, initially, I, yeah, I was a little stressed just because it was all happening so fast. But once I was told I'm good on everything, I'm like, oh, I'm straight, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm straight. Don't worry about it. If I ain't worked in, it's finna, it's gonna be three weeks. I haven't worked. So when I get home today, today Thursday, I was gonna pick up a load. I say, you know what? I'm just gonna dead head to the house. Park my truck. Park my trailer. I gotta go to uh, get my my windshield fixed in the morning. Uh, for it got a, it got a leak, and it's been up here so. You know, it's been sitting. Nothing, you know, I ain't, ain't nobody been to the shop. I mean, I ain't had time to take it to the shop. I got a lot of, it's been sitting. I got to get my inspection done. I got to get my, my Landstar maintenance report in. And uh, those two things I got to get done within the next 24 hours. So when I get to my truck, I'm going to pull out my laptop. 
I'm gonna go hit. Well, first I'm gonna go over here to TA to uh, get in line for my Landstar inspection. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna submit the maintenance report. So I'm gonna have the maintenance report done. I'm gonna have my Landstar inspection done, and I should be good in the clear. Everything else is done. Uh, fuel, the highway fuel uses tax that got paid this year, five hundred fifty dollars just to drive up and down a road. Man, these folks crazy. But with all that being said, it's part of trucking, man. That's the business side of it. You gotta run that business. You gotta make sure the bills getting paid. You gotta make sure everything is is, is vibing and working the way it's supposed to be working. You know, you can't just drive and don't do nothing else. You have several other things that you have to do constantly to make sure your business is, is staying validated, is staying afloat, is staying uh, legitimate with the eyes of the government. Because just to show us you don't pay something, they like, yeah, let, let's put a lien on that. Let's seize that. Oh, you didn't want to pay me? <laughs> Got them. So, uh, yeah, man, let's go and pull up on the truck. Let's see what's done. Uh, you know, if I can get one of the mechanics to talk to us, I'll do that and uh, go from there. All right, all right, all right, man. Y'all see the sign. Y'all know what that is. If you don't, you're about to learn what it is today. So we finna go on, check in and... uh get the keys get the paperwork i mean i got my i keep another set of keys so i can go hopping in and leave right now if i wanted to but we finna go in here and see what's going on hello came to pick up my truck from service yes uh -huh. thank you I'm here for the free pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> now I got the uh, T680 Z Dog truck. Oh really? Oh, I thought you'd been here for years. You like, yeah, I got this. Yeah, well, I like to say you know, I make That's the best way. I'm on the well, I can tell you it's cooler in here than it is outside, so you won't win it. I'm pretty sure you can put them over in here. Yeah. All right. Do they have that outside? No, you All right, cool. Is the uh, mechanic that work on mine here? I'm just going to chat with them and uh, see if you got any recommendations. Or... Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Kind of shitty, really, if you ask me. Yeah. Uh, your warranty doesn't start over. Oh, it seems, it seems like it <laughs> yeah. should. Like I know. Yeah. Uh, basically, 
as one, I think I think you get at least a one year hundred thousand. Okay. But you, like I said, you got a little bit left on that warranty that replace yeah. you know that replace that engine. Yeah. It's uh, seven year. Seven hundred fifty thousand, something miles. like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So, and I just signed up with the rest of the NTP to cover everything yeah. for a hundred thousand miles. So I'm not a million miles. Yeah. So yeah. I'm I'm good now fully oh, yeah. well, into the million miles. What sucks about that is it's a major. It's called a major component warranty. Yeah. So basically, block right. head related. But if it's, a, if it's a head gasket, they don't cover it. Oh, they don't. <laughs> Even with all the stuff that they cover. How much is the head gasket stuff? Uh, it depends on, you know, uh, obviously it's labor you're paying for. Right. Uh, five, five grand, four I mean, grand. That still ain't as bad as 50 grand. Yeah, you oh, know, yeah. It's, all, yeah. It's, it's one of those things where it's a blessing in the, uh, the new clutch in there, the transmission. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, at this point, I'm, I'm, I feel blessed. Yeah. So, well, don't... I mean, you see, transmission issues is probably might be your next thing. Yeah. But those automatics suck. That's all we work on. Yeah. Pack cars and endurance transmissions. Yeah. That's job security. Well, <laughs> hey, that's why I went ahead and got the rest of that warranty mm -hmm. with me. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's say in case stuff happens, yeah. I know what it But, man, y'all shop is amazing. Like, when I first pulled up that day, it was knocking. I looked and I said, man, this is clean. Y'all shop is so and you need to work for corporate. Because this is a, this is a pigsty according to corporate. Man, <laughs> this shop is amazing. I'm gonna leave a five star review awesome. on y'all online, man. Perfect. It was just just the hospitality of coming over here. Y'all made me feel welcome. I've been on both sides, so, so I, I know what. I, I, I appreciate everything, man. And it's like I'm I'm ready to get back and roll. I'm gonna go park it. I got a cruise I'm going on. Uh, leaving out on Sunday. Right on. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my extended vacation. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow's vacation. my last day for a week too. So there you go. Then. <laughs> so any uh, recommendations on the, the drive home or anything? Get the piss out of it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, man. Appreciate everything. Yes, sir. All right. All right, doll team, man. Let's see what we working with over here. We got the White Walker back. Ooh. We got her back. Man, that looks weird. What is that? Maybe that's oil. I think that is oil on the grill. I'm gonna say, what is that on the grill? Yeah, that's a little bit of. That's a little bit of oil, but hey, they pulled the whole motor out. So, uh, no complaints about that. What we're going to do is we're going to start her up. Oh, man. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. It sound different. Sound a little sound a little different. I don't know. Different good, different bad. I don't know. I just know it sound a little different. It's a different harm to it. But let's check out to see what was done. Let's see what was done to it. Hopefully we don't have no more problems. Oh my goodness, look at that new block. That's a new block there, fellas. That is a new block. That baby had to come up out of here. 
And we got the new one in there. The pulleys sound like what I'm hearing over here could be the pulley. With the new belt, maybe it's just gotta loosen up a little bit or something. But yeah, man, that's the new motor. That is the the new motor for the truck. So oh man. I know this is probably a long video, man, but I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna show y'all. And the rest is gonna be what it's gonna be. Let me check my lights out and make sure all my lights working. Last thing I need is me to get started and my lights not working. Got my lights, got my lights. Everything on. It's so bright out here. You can barely see this stuff. Let me, let me flip my purples on. Got my purples. Everything purple. Everything the way it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, we good. We are good to go. Turning in a car. Get my laptop out of here. Everything look good. Everything look good. I don't want them folks saying I did nothing to it. Back at the same enterprise I started it. Alright, doll team man. Hooking back up to my trailer it's been a while Let's see if i remember how to do this Dirty trailer. I probably won't get it washed till I get back from my cruise. Truck and trailer. I might do it that Monday. Get on out there and get it washed. Or not, I may get on the road first and then get it washed. I don't know. I'll decide when I get closer to that time. But that's pretty much it, man. The White Walker is back to life. And everything is going right. So, man, appreciate y'all checking out these videos. Like, share, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. And join the dog team. So, till the next time, baby. Keep it trucking.